guys, what's up? Today we are here with a new video and we are sponsored by a new company called Great Italy. It's the first time we are collaborating with them and it's an interesting company. The company sells 100% Italian things in the UK and in America and they have a website which is www.greatitaly.co.uk so if you are living in UK or America and you're Italian or you're English or American or whatever and you just want some Italian stuff then go check out their website, they've got clothes, they've got food, they've got holidays, holidays. if you want to book a holiday to Italy then go to their website. They also have a Facebook page, which you can find it quite easy, and also an Instagram page, and a Twitter, and a LinkedIn, and I don't know, they're everywhere. Wherever you search, you're gonna find them. <laughs> so, we're making this video because Coral begged me to teach her how to make a carbonara. Wow, I didn't really beg, I kind of just asked once, and he said yes. That's not true, she asked more that than once. That's very true, I asked once, and she that was probably two once. days ago. And she was like, please teach me your amazing carbonara. Yeah. Anyway, carbonara, as you know, is from Rome. Maybe you don't know it, but it's from Rome. We've got some awesome fresh products that we are going to use in this delicious... 100% made in Italy, obviously. <laughs> Great Italy. Everything we're using is 100% fresh and made in Italy. Let's get started. If you really want to see how a Roman carbonara is made, watch this video yeah keep watching and while you're watching don't forget to subscribe to our channel give us a thumbs up leave your comments and everything and um follow us on instagram and facebook so mm -hmm. and check great italy so we're going to start off with ricardo cutting our meat yeah because he's good. an excellent chopper obviously i wouldn't trust myself with a giant knife like that <laughs> i wouldn't trust you with a fork but <laughs> <laughs> just cutting the meat, really. Yeah, that's what you do, you just put it in a pan. And then we um, sizzle it. Sizzle, sizzle, sizzle. We sizzle it. Sizzle. Do you know what we need next? We need some eggs. Oh. We need some eggs in yeah, there. Just well, open eggs. Just Crack some eggs. You can do it two ways. You can just get just the yolk or just both. If you get both, the yolk and the white bit, it just get more like creamy, but I tried in both ways and Coral prefers it with just the yolk. Yeah, so we've solved our solution to how we like the uh, carbonara yeah. and it is not this way, but that doesn't matter because it still tasted good, so... Yeah, you can still try both ways, find yes. the way you prefer. So you just put cheese in there, really, and mix it all. Mix, 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 yeah. with a fork. No, <laughs> with a <the> fork. <laughs> No way! <laughs> you sure you don't want to do it with a knife? You could do it with oh well, a whisk. <laughs> and this is our delicious fresh pasta. Ooh, yes. Yeah. So good. From Great Italy, as usual. And we just want to say, right, before we go ahead, what we're we doing here? We are not chefs. Well, Ricardo's not a chef, okay, I'm not doing it. Everybody has their own way of making this carbonara, and this is how Ricardo has learned to make carbonara, and it's a nice way. So who cares if like it's not the proper way to how like the proper way should be or whatever you want to have the proper way as. This is how we're doing Surely it. Surely so. is better than the English way. Let's exactly. say that. Come on. Or exactly. I would actually say even from anyone that is outside of Rome. Like even if you go in the north of Italy, it's still not going to be the same as the one made here in Rome. So bam. That's all. Yeah, we're gonna put the meat in there and then we're gonna mix it all up. Yeah, but not completely because it has not to be completely. hot. It has to be hot. Don't do this, what we're doing right now in the pan. Otherwise you get like scrambled egg. Do not make this no. scrambled egg. Just pour the, the egg that we mixed before in the pasta inside of a bowl. The bowl has to be normally, like cold, normal. The bowl has to be normally. Normally normal. The bowl is normally <laughs> normal. <laughs> anyway, like not hot. Not in the pan. Don't do this in the pan. You ruin the carbonara. You just do it in there and then... Nobody wants a scrambled egg carbonara, basically, yeah. so... The egg has to cook with the heat of the pasta and the little meat that is in there. 
Anyway, as you can see, it's turning it's like a yellow absolutely color. Delicious. Of yeah. course it's yellow. Exactly. But you know, imagine the yeah, yellow. Look pasta. at that. I'm feeling hungry already again. Yeah, oh my goodness. I'm starving. We need to finish eating this. So guys, we'll just see you next time. And if you want to make it now, you know, you know how to make it. So you should go ahead and make it. Right guys, um, just see you next time. I'm just starving.